the weather has been so good of late that my telescopes have never been so busy and neither has my coffee pot. So, with my favourite drink in hand, we're going to go down the observatory and we're going to put the 2600 onto my CT10 and carry on tonight imaging a target I've been working on for the last eight nights, which is the Medusa Nebula, also known as Able 21. It's a faint target and it's a little bit unusual, not one I've seen often, but it's one I really fancy capturing. So, join me while we get some uh, data on this and hopefully come up with a nice image. My name's Glenn, and you're watching Astro Bloke. Hi everyone, welcome to my little corner of the garden. Uh, I'm in my, my little roll off roof star man cave as I like to refer to it. And uh, I love it down here, it's great. And this is where most of my astrophotography takes place. And even though I've got a light polluted back garden, uh, things seem to go well for me. And recently we have had absolutely fantastic nights. Uh, four clear nights in a row as forecasted and other clear nights around that. It's been brilliant and I've been able to get loads of data. What I'm going to be working on tonight is uh, Able 21, Medusa Nebula, and I've been working on this uh, target for some time. I've actually got eight nights of data on it and I've collected so far 17 hours. Um, but now I've re finally received my filters for my new 2600mm camera and I'm gonna continue on that target with that uh, camera and add it all together and uh, hopefully come up with a really nice image at the end of it all. So I've been on a journey in the last year where I've basically been looking to upgrade my equipment. I've been selling, well I've sold scopes, I've sold mounts, I've sold cameras. One of the good things about astrophotography is if you look after your equipment, which most people do, it's got quite a good resale value. There's always somebody looking to upgrade themselves or buy something or get into the hobby. And I've actually found it's worked quite well for me. Um, things haven't lost too much in value. Um, and uh, it's allowed me to save up and then sell something, add a bit to it and get what I really was after. So it started for me with a new scope, then a new mount, and finally a new camera and filters. So let's go over the equipment I've got for this uh, target and then hopefully I'll share with you a nice image. The camera I'll be using is the ZWO ASI 2600mm Pro. This has an APS-C size sensor and is also a 16-bit camera so will give a really nice dynamic range. 
This is bolted to the ZWO 36mm 7 position filter wheel and it's housing my new Antlia LRGB and SHO filters. The autofocusing is being handled by the ZWO electronic automatic focuser. I have my Pegasus power box working with the through mount cabling to power everything and auto monitor all the dew conditions. And this is all mounted on my CT10 scope which is f4.8 and 1200mm focal length. Finally, all of the guiding will be done with the new large off-axis guider by ZWO and the 290mm mini guide camera. So for me, I feel like I finally got my dream rig together. Really happy with it. I feel very, very privileged to own it. Um, but uh, it's uh, hoping it's going to give me some great results. The image scale uh, with this setup is not bad. It's uh, 0.67, so it's uh, it's getting down there where you could be oversampling, but not quite. Um, if I've been to, it's absolutely uh, fine because it's in what 1.2, 1.3. Um, but uh, I've had a few little tests and uh, this is looking good. The only thing I can't pair it with is my Zenith Star 61. Uh, on that it is uh, it's, uh, significantly undersampled. Um, the image scale is like 2 point, uh, it's high 2.5, 2.6. And it's, uh, and I do say when I look at the subs, they're quite blocky. Now, obviously, I can drizzle and uh, try and recover some of that data, which is what Hubble does. So we'll have a look at that. But um, I've been using it on the Zenith Star 61 and taking pictures of the flaming star and the tadpoles together in a wide field shot. Um, and I'll be sharing that with you again soon. But I need to look at the data and see what I can do with it because, uh, as I say, it's a bit undersampled. Right then, we'll get everything closed up, ready for tonight, and uh, fingers crossed, the weather forecast will be correct, and we'll get a lovely clear night, and we can do some imaging. Speak to you later.